Hi everyone, it's Ellen Thompson Jennings, the Family History Hound, and I would like to show you today about how I look after my photographs and my forever account in just 15 minutes a day, sometimes even less, and actually probably 15 minutes a week. So here we see that I'm in my forever account at forever.com, and I go up to the three little lines or the hamburger and I click on that and I go to my library and once I'm in my library you can see the things that I've just recently taken photos that were automatically uploaded to my account um, you can set that up very easily and I'll show that in another video but for now we're going to just address the things that I've put in in the last month or so um, let's go for First, I would like to upload a couple of things that I have put on my computer that aren't on my forever account. So you press upload and you choose a file from your computer. And for me, the ones that I want to do are website pictures. I click on that. And there were a couple of goals that I really liked. So I want to put them in my account so I can use them again. And so then I click highlight them. Oh, pardon me. Let's highlight and keep them. So you have to hold the control button down. Then you open. And it's just that quick. So now I'm done with uploading. So now they're going to show in my library. So your library is always the same. It never changes and you don't delete photos from here unless you absolutely want them deleted. So it's not like uh, you're trying to clean up your library. This is everything that you have in your library. But you want to organize it so that you can use it more easily. So I've uploaded. Now there's a few in here that I want to delete because Let's face it, there's things that you take pictures of that you don't necessarily want to keep. I keep receipts. I take pictures of items. So in this case, I took a picture of a rug and I took a picture of my curling iron and I have an extra one of this one photograph. Not sure why. I have my receipt. So I'm just clicking the ones that I don't want. Here's another extra. I don't want this one and oh and I got a picture of my ear not sure why and a picture of a plate the oranges and that's pretty much it for now so we go back to the top and you press delete it says it says it's going to delete the nine photos that I've selected and I'm going to say yes move to delete folder but notice that it also says that these items will stay in your delete mid for 60 days so even if you accidentally remove something they'll still be there so you can go back and get them so press delete and that's takes a couple seconds and it's done so let's think about tagging so I have my sister-in-law staying with me when I was in in Arizona so I'm gonna go click on this photograph and I'm going to add a tag and I'm gonna put Angie and there she is and I add the tag and that's done so now if I want to look at any of the photographs that I have of Angie I can go to my tag folder or my tag button and type in Angie and it'll bring me up everything that I've ever taken with Angie so that's done so you see it's still even though I've tagged it it's still there and this one I believe I already have tagged it no nope, I haven't so it will add that tag there too oh and I forgot there's also Callie's in the picture, so she's hard to see, but she is there. And add that tag. So now I can look for Callie or Angie, and I'll find the, them in this photo. So now we're going to go back 
and then I want to add a folder so you'll see here there's an album button and so I have quite a few different albums and I have one called Arizona Park Model so I would like to add a subfolder to that or a nested folder to that and I'm gonna call it we're gonna let's do it uh, I'm gonna call it Arizona inventory and you can set your albums either to private or public or whatever and you can also put a description but I don't really need anything like that because I know what I'm why I'm doing it so we'll click that and now you'll see I have an Arizona inventory folder and it's a subfolder of the Arizona park model folder and then below you'll see all the photos that are currently in the Arizona park model folder so if you think about this is like a filing cabinet and so the Arizona park model is a filing cabinet but inside the filing cabinet is the Arizona inventory folder so now I'm going to go back to my library and why I set that up was I have my storage from my Arizona park model and I'm going to add it to an album so I could have added it at the very first screen or I can add it here and then I just scroll down to Arizona Park Model and now you see that it shows that there is a nested album in in Arizona Park Model so I can click that and I'm gonna put it in inventory so the, my plan is that when I leave Arizona that I will take a photograph of my closet and so then when I'm trying to decide what do I actually have in Arizona that I, or what should I take back to Arizona I'll know what I already have there oh I see another one where I should have probably deleted that so I delete that one and so that's just in a few minutes I've shown you how to do a lot of things I've showed you how to upload a uh, your photos from your computer. I've showed you how to delete some items and I've showed you how to tag. I've added something to an album and I've moved things. It, you know, really in just a few minutes a day or a few minutes a week, you can organize your collection. And I thank you for watching this video.